Hey, what up, guys? So today I have another money-making method for you, which is mainly about um, charging orbs. If you didn't know, charging air orbs is, or earth orbs, if you want air orbs to make the most money, charging air orbs is a great way to increase your um, magic level, as well as make use of some pretty decent money for very low requirements of level. For this, you need to have the charge orb spell which is at level 66 and does require cosmics so you can see here I do have some cosmics and I have some unpowered orbs I'm just gonna grab some cosmics and withdraw some I'll take out all 730 of them that I have and I have 100 air orbs and I'm not gonna use a familiar for this just because I want this method to have a real raw data if you want to use a familiar you can increase that amount by just doubling the amount of GP really because it's a it's a pretty instantaneous process, but anyway, you can see here I have my cosmic runes, and I have 100 unpowered orbs. And you can see here with the money amount I have, by price checking it, that, um, sorry, cosmics are 171 each, and orbs are 252 each. That looks really messy. Um, here you go, 171, 252. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be charging the orbs into air orbs. And I'll do a run with you right now, just and a quick run too. And I have a timer up so you can see um, how long it'll take. I'll put that, say, here. And I'm going to start it. I'm going to go run to the location. And I'm going to give you a quick, brief overview of what you have to do. And basically, you're going to be in Edgeville, and you're going to run to this trapdoor. And you go straight down the trapdoor. And for your setup, you should have an air staff here in my equipment. You can see I have a staff of air, which is really cheap. It's like 2K. And I have a charge glory for a quick teleport back. And in case of emergencies, if there's PKers or anything, just right-click an edge and you're out of there. You don't have to worry about none of that. And then you're pretty much set. You really don't need any other items for this. Um, just don't take a lot of cosmics. I'm actually bringing a lot more than I need. Um, but I'm I'm not too worried about PKers here. Um, I've done many runs and I haven't actually seen anyone threatening or anyone that would want to do damage to me. Um, I don't know why I lagged there. But anyway, um, this spot isn't really too popular in EOC. It's a really popular spot in 07, but I haven't seen many players here in general for EOC playing. And just south from here, if you want, there is the Earth Obelisk down there for charging Earth. But I prefer to do air. So I'm going to climb up this ladder, and this is the path, and right here, oh, my bad. Right here, you can see that there is the obelisk of air. So I'm going to go to my magic tab, charge the orb, obelisk of air, enchant. One, two. And we pretty much just watch this. So I'm going to turn the volume off, actually, because that's a little irritating. But. Um, basically that's all that happens um, and you can see here that well we just have to wait and wait but on the bright side um, the profit for this is actually pretty great you can see here that um, if I click off and I go price check that one air orb is 2 2k it's about 2k so Every time we um, cast a spell, we make about, we turn 252 coins plus 3 cosmics, 3 cosmics, into 2.2k. Um, so let's just take out the air orb because it's like 2 point something k. And 3 cosmics would be like 200 each maximum. 600. So you make 1.4k every single time this guy goes ding and puts the thing on his head. So basically, my timer right now is at 2 minutes and 37 seconds. And actually, I think I just realized that I'm using fraps, so you may not be able to see my timer. I'm not certain. But either way, um, you can just use the, the bar down in, on YouTube that shows the actual clock time um, and do the math, I guess. But my timer does say 2 minutes and 56, going to 57 seconds now, and just hitting 3 minutes. So this method is very time-consuming on the trip. Um, if I didn't stop or I didn't lag or I didn't just um, show you guys the price check, it might be less. But basically, this method, going back with Ed to Edgeville, is about a three-minute 
30 second to 3 minute video for including banking um, video method for including banking time and everything so right there you can see my clock is exactly 3 minutes and 30 seconds and you can see that it took me 3 minutes and 30 seconds for a full trip there and back and banking and I could easily just right click and withdrew but if you took out all the the time I took slacking in between I'm fairly certain that you could speed up this method to about three minutes um, that would also include no interruption of me price checking so let's say let's just say for this purpose that um, it takes you three minutes to but yeah let's say it takes you three minutes to do a full load and I'm gonna take out all the items I used and what is 27 times 3? Uh, 25 and 3 is 75. So 246, 81. So then 81. We'll do 81 runes. Um, so basically, this is the money we spent. No, all. All. Frick, come on. And 81 of these. So we spent 20k to make. To make. Oh. 61k so I paid 20k and I came out with 61k so that's 40k profit in three minutes so that would that would wait 40k profit in three minutes would mean 400k profit in 30 minutes meaning 800k 800k in an hour this method should make you I will call this method a 750k method an hour and you can see here just by the proof that if you continuously repeat this and you have your glories prepared and you're ready and you just focus on working on charging orbs that you will get a decent amount of um, magic experience as well as money. And to do a quick rundown of magic, I was getting like 70 experience every single orb and 27, so 714, 7, 14, 21. Let's say you're getting almost 2k a run. So that's 20k, that's like 30 to 40k magic experience an hour. That's not too bad actually. So, um, if you want some decent magic experience and some fairly good money, um, charging air orbs may be something for you. Just um, try it out yourself and see if you like it. Have a good one guys.